Hey guys, welcome back to Bully. I find it quite funny how we're supposed to be in school, you know, like our parents put us in that school for being the way that we are and whatever she went on on a one year honeymoon with like this new boyfriend that she's got. We're supposed to be living in campus. We are literally a 15 year old boy not living in campus, living in a lighthouse halfway across town from school. Like if you just sit and think about that, that's that's what makes this game awesome. We've got video games. We've got a bar. I mean, we've got uh, <laughs> what is this poker table? We've got it all. I think it's time for Jimmy to get a haircut. What do you say? Yeah, I thought so too. All right, so we're gonna head to the barber shop. See who I can come across. I wonder if you can drive cars here. That'd be awesome. We probably can. Okay. Oh, we gotta attend class. Holy cow. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta go to class. Hold on, before we go to class, I gotta get a clean cut for the ladies, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, I do want to get a haircut actually. Alright. The good boy. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Hollywood. <laughs> oh my god. Short and sh <laughs> smart. The Ivy League. I think this might be the best one. It's kind of like a slick back haircut. Obviously, due to the graphics of the game, it doesn't allow you to appreciate it. But I feel like between the Ivy League, the good boy, and the smart, they're my favorite. I, I like the good boy, too, because you can see the texture of the hair a little bit more. I'm going to go with the good boy. Purchased. All right. Your hair is slamming. Damn, look at us go. Oh my god, we fit in right with the right with the preps. Alright, let's get to class. We got we gotta go to class. We have got to go to class. I don't know why, but the background music of this game reminds me a lot of uh Home Alone. If Home Alone were a game, I think this would be kind of like that. Now that kid, that was a damn bully in itself. Yeah, we're here. Thankfully, due to our bike, we've got the ultimate power of traveling. I think our class should be downstairs. Upstairs, okay. Every time I come inside the school, let me go. I'm going to class. <laughs> Just grab this nuts. <laughs> Photography one. Class, I'm Miss Phillips. I'll be handing out your cameras and first assignment in a moment. Okay, take pictures of the banners located around the school grounds. Mrs. Phillips, this has got to be the most tedious class. Scroll through your weapon wheel. Get your camera out. Is that good? It's a good photo? Good. Okay. Where's my bike? Can I take my bike? I'm going to take my bike. I might get there a little faster. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, it's on the other side. Where's my camera at? Alright, good photo. Okay, my bike. I don't know if this is allowed. Like, I don't remember ever being able to ride a bike in, in school campus like this. This is kind of wild. <laughs> Good. All right, let's go. Good photo. I would have never seen that, to be honest. Get back on my bike. Let's go. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this one's got to be all the way up there. There it is. Okay, pull out the camera. That photo, really? How the hell? Good photo. All right, good. Why are you guys fucking egging me? What, do you, what is your problem? I'm trying to be a good Samaritan of the school, 
and take pictures of our beautiful flags. Okay. <sighs> Gotta be here. There's the last flag. You're my property, jerk. Wait, what? You fucking kidding me? You're lucky I'm an under an assignment right now. If not, I'd kick your ass. Now that I'm not anymore, I'm gonna kick your ass. You like that? Yep. I will get on my bike and I will leave you. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just playing around, you know. Part of the, it's just a prank, bro. Okay. I I was able to ex Who were those? Were those the uh, Those weren't the jocks. Those were the I know they had a name. I just don't remember right now, but who cares, right? They suck anyways. Let me pull out my skateboard. I've got a new haircut and I haven't seen that one person yet compliment me. Absolutely disgusted. One thing I wish that this game would have added would have been at least to do like a cake flip or something on a skateboard. That would have been really cool. Although it's totally unnecessary, but imagine being able to do a cake flip and grind. Turn this into a Bully Skate 3 video game. That'd be pretty epic. You know, Jimmy, you have a little bit of a rough edge, but I really think there's something special about you. <sighs> Thanks, Teach. On to the next photo oh, album good. unlocked. You can now save pictures of your photo album, which is found by the pause menu. Okay. Now let's go through here. And we've got another mission. What is this? The carnival dates. Oh. So. This is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened, like he's dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. <laughs> Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. <laughs> he's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great. You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. Oh, shit. We're going to date the popular girl. The carnival closes at 1 a.m. Make sure that you finish your date with Pinky by then. Okay, so let's go. Dude, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What? You not know that I took boxing classes? You... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Here you go. Oh, this guy's got a lot of health. Okay. All right. I've had enough. Yep. You've got a little bit too much health. Uh, <laughs> nope. I'll catch you later. I will admit when I've been defeated. Holy shit. Okay, let's go. We've, we've got to go to the carnival anyways. I've got I've got a date. I don't want to get there with a black eye or anything. I completely forgot we have a timer. There we go. Buy a mission ticket. Okay, open up. With my foot. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Oh my god. He'll <laughs> get a new girlfriend. <laughs> Where's that teddy bear thing? Alright, so we've got to do like mini games and stuff like that. Alright. Hit three to win. 
Put the ball back. Okay. There we go. Not too bad. This is going to be cool. So we just got to play a bunch of little mini games. So we've got three out of ten tickets. And souvenirs. Um, we've got to play mini games in order to... I guess collect tickets. Yes. That's what, that's what we got to do. And then once we get ten tickets, we can buy the teddy bear. Bring the mallet as hard as you can. Got another three tickets. Come here, girl. Hold my hand. <laughs> this is awesome. Can we just keep playing this and get more tickets? Can we just do that? Let's see. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Okay, we've got another ticket. I don't know if there's any other mini games out there that we can... Yeah, we just need one more. Let's do one more and that's it. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Baseball is the game and your aim is up for shame. I can't believe it. One more. <clears throat> Three, he's out. Just go get this chick a damn teddy bear. This has been the lamest date I've ever been on. Dear God. Hey, dude, can you give me a teddy bear? This weird chick here wants a teddy bear. Imagine if I bought something else that's not a teddy bear. You can buy a fucking scooter. <laughs> All right. Let's take this to our beloved girlfriend here. Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. Oh, damn, girl. So we officially have either a new girlfriend or two girlfriends. Why are you trying to bully me right now? What's wrong with you? Do you know who I am? My name is Jimmy Hopkins. I am part of the Bullworth School and I will kick your ass. The bum down the street taught me some new moves like that. Yeah, you like that? I thought so too. So we're gonna go to the lighthouse. I'm gonna get the BMX bike that was here. And we're gonna sleep. And then we're gonna head over to the next two missions. I think we should be almost done with chapter two. I think if I remember correctly, when I looked up how many chapters this game had, it said that there was, uh, you know what? We're actually gonna sleep at the school. It said that there was um, five chapters. So we should be relatively close to the end of the game. Oh, not end of the game, but halfway through the game almost. Once we go into the next chapter. It's crazy how much shorter these games were back then, you know? If this game were to be made now, it'd probably be like 30 hours long, according to Rockstar. Rockstar likes to make their games 30, 40 hours long. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 felt like two, two hours for me because I love the game. One of my all-time favorites, but... The game was nearly 40 hours long. It's kind of nuts if you think about it. How did I get mayonnaise on my pants? All right, so race the veil. Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy, it's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. My shiny bike's at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Luckily for us, we 
We came in a bike. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, okay. He left without me. All right. Thanks. I like how these kids are just randomly all over the place walking. It's, it's literally 925 at night and you've got kids walking across the street. All right. Well, I guess this game in 2006, things were actually different. Oh, so the bike race is right by my house. Nice. Shit, this you is gonna be funny. Wretches? <laughs> Don't make Don't me worry laugh. about the sad sacks. Oh my god. You my oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Wait, do I have to go through here? Or not? Okay. God damn it, Jimmy. Dude, my freaking thumb is gonna fall off. <laughs> I swear to God. We've got it's only one lap. All right, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a bit. Just relax for a sec. I don't even know if they'll catch up anyways. Just cruising around. No need to smash my thumb into this. They are catching up though. It's time for uh, turbo speed. I don't know if like if you missed the target by a little bit if it's still registered or not, so. I'm trying my best to go right smack in the middle of it. Going downhill. There we go. How does it feel, losers? To get beaten at everything, literally, by the new kid in town. Pretty shitty, huh? Bro, how long is this race? Jesus Christ. The lighthouse right there should be almost at the end. Oh my god, they're right on my ass. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> Sweet win. Come by and see me anytime. I'll have your trophy. Mmm, shiny bikes. Why would I want to come back anytime? I'm literally already here. Just give it to me now. I'll that makes absolutely no sense. <gasps> Beach rumble. I would just die. Yeah, you want to get a C785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fun turd. Do you even have trust flushing toilets turd. in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back. Wow. Hey, Jimmy, you want some help handling those losers? Oh yeah, let's go. Come with, dude. Let's go. Where are they? They are straight ahead. 
Oh, so we met a friend. An unlikely ally. Very nice. Uh, dude, are you coming? I, I can't do this by myself, so... Let's go. They are in my house! Oh, he's stuck on the wall. Oh, look at them right here. Oh, hold on. You guys wanna fuck around? I got eggs too! Oh shit, I need soda. Hold on. <laughs> you just tripped him. Yeah, you stupid kid, huh? Little trust fund turds. That was the getaway. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is the nerd with my trophy. Yeah, give me that trophy. Stand up, I dare you. Run, you little chicken. Give me that trophy. And just like that, mission successfully passed. I love how fast and simple these missions are. Yet the story being told is quite All hilarious. Sorted. Bike races are open from noon to 11. Look for the trophies on the world map to sign up. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna sleep because I don't like doing all these missions at night. I forgot to get that guy's name. But whatever. Maximum capacity of eggs. Let's go. Save the file right here. And uh, off we go. Alright, so now I'm going to take a nap. And we're going to go on to our next adventure. I think this is going to be the last mission for, for Chapter 2 now. So, we're going to go ahead and see. Oh, wait, we actually have two more missions, and those missions, one's in school, and one is by the shopping center. Okay. Let's go over there. Aren't you the guys I just beat up? I'm afraid I have to huh? Yeah, you. yes you are. <laughs> those are the guys that just kicked her ass. Oh, you can't drive cars. Imagine if you could. That'd be hilarious. Mine now. Okay, let's go. We're almost there. Why are you guys still chasing me? Tad's house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Real dumb. Hey, hey, kid. Hey, kid. Help me out, please. Easy, Russell. Hey, kid. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Sit. <clears throat> good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein. Not you. So... How did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Oh, we're gonna go with Russell. Oh, I thought I was gonna go on the pegs in the back of the bike. You guys ever ride a bike with pegs? It's the funnest shit ever. I remember one time when I was younger, I was riding, uh, I was driving and uh, my, my one of my really good friends, Oscar, was in the pegs in the back and we went over a bump on the road. We didn't even see the bump, so it was like completely unexpected. We flew in the air, bro. We totally busted our ass. He had like these uh, crazy MP3 player in his ears. Back in the days where MP3s were a thing. And, um, yeah, it was quite the adventure, I'll tell you that much. Good times, good times. I just taught uh, Ryan how to ride bike a couple of weeks ago. It's pretty cool, too. One of the proudest moments of my life. All right, Russell. Tear the club up. Throw eggs through the window. Through every open window. Okay. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. We're equipped with your eggs. Look, 
Who threw that egg? I know you're, you're out like there. A little shell shock. Shell shock. Go out there and find I'll the put mystery. you in your place. Russell, come on. What are you doing? You're supposed to be here to back me up, dude. Hey guys, I found it. Oh shit. Ross is just there doing his thing. <laughs> Dude, it's that kid again. It's that kid again. <laughs> I know you jitsu punk. I know you're out there. Mission accomplished, Russell. Alright. Oh, we just gotta beat them up. Get out of Tad's yard. Why do they call the cops or something? Holy hell. Russell! Help me! There you go. There we go. Yes, Russell, yes. Russell, help. Russell smash, big smash. Yeah, let's get out of here. There's way too many of them. <laughs> Get them stupid preps. That's all I literally had to do. All right, let's go. We've got one more, guys. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. We've also got to go to class. Shit. How far is that? Dude, it's far as hell. Do I have to go to class now? You know what? I'm going to skip class for this one, honestly. I have to. I'm sorry. Are we going the right way? Oh, is it the docks? Here we go. The boxing challenge. So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. No, what you gotta do is you gotta <laughs> beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. Go to the boxing club. Oh, it's starting to snow. I see. Cool. Oh, are we going to have like a Christmas season? Oh, that's going to be sick. Boxing club, club. It's right here. Street smarter one. Get back to school. Shut your trap. You and me, Biff. You and me, what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. All right. Biff Taylor. Oh, fuck. Hopkins, you're pathetic. Come on, Biff Taylor. Ow! His left eye looks swollen. I'm gonna swallow you up. Ow! Hopkins, you're such a <laughs> Why don't you guys break it off? Ow! Dude, he hits me like once. I can do so much better, you know? 
Good. All right, so we're slightly, slightly winning. Look at his health now. What the hell is that? Oh, he's got a black eye too. Oh no, we have slightly more health. That's the best you can do. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. I love watching Biff hurt people. <laughs> I love watching Biff hurt people. Is that the best you can do? Oh, he's almost out for the count. He got saved by the bell. Almost. I will keep pounding you, Biff Taylor. Ow. There we go. <laughs> Kick this ass. Who's the baddest? Me. Who's the toughest? Me. Who's the man? Me. Me, losers. Me. The champion number one. I killed the best. I will beat the rest. Yeah. What have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff. He's our new it. champion. Just... What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <laughs> It takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 Wow. yeah. You guys soften him up. I'll get it. What? Ah, he's gone. Yeah, I'll sweep you losers. Here. I'll show you what they taught me in wrestling school. I mean, at the gym. There we go. All right, now we gotta go beat up that other guy upstairs. He thinks he's funny, huh? Sending his minions on me. You too? You want some too? You want some too, punk? Huh? I'm sick and tired of you stealing my trophy. Trying to be all funny? <laughs> you pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. That's right, boys. Teach him some boxing, you know. Oh, God. I'm actually a boxer, you know. You're gonna be an excellent boxer, you know. You're gonna pay for this. Holy fucking hell, dude. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. I'm an excellent boxer, you know. Well, can a boxer block a sweep kick? I don't think so. Here. Using what I have and you don't. Eggs. You lame jerk. Here, jerk off. Fucking hell. Wait, did he beat me up? <laughs> Give me a hand in here, boys. Oh, that doesn't do anything to him. Well, I suppose Step I just back. have to give you a thrashing the old fashioned way. Oh, cream soda. Uh, be oh, whatever. Beam soda. Ow, dude. Leave me alone. Let me. What happened to this? I thought he was knocked out. Wow. Get up. Holy fuck. Dude, are you kidding me? Slingshot. Where are you? Holy shoot! Oh my god! Back off, idiot!
Here you go, stupid. Oh, every time he freaking uppercuts me, calls in reinforcement. Knocks him out one shot. This guy's so fucking annoying. Give me a hand in here, boys. Well, I suppose I just don't think you were thrashing the old fashioned way. Fuck it. Just gonna focus on on this guy. <laughs> Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are louder. You are. Uh, That's right, me. Now you girls learn to play nice. You understand? Oh my God. <laughs> Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Mm. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed him who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he could help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. All right, so we now have yeah, it's definitely, uh, look at the seasons. Yep, it's snowy. That's cool. All right, so I think we're going to end the episode here. I kind of want to take my time with this game. It, it, it's a really fun game. It's a funny, fun game. So now it's it's Christmas. It's 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 December-ish type of thing. There's going to be uh, snow outside. People are going to be wearing hoodies and stuff like that. So maybe we'll be able to throw snowballs now. So I'm really excited to see what everything looks like. But we'll catch that on the next episode of bully thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you're enjoying the let's play on bully if you are drop it a like and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one